All right, guys, welcome back. I am uh, just got done working a uh, 12 hour shift. So guys, bear with me here. I know it's, uh, I know y'all are probably way worse tired than I am, but we're both, we're all tired. So let's just keep studying hard. We're gonna get into anaphylactic shock right now. So guys, remember with, with, with shock, all shock, basically it's, it's all low blood pressure equals low tissue perfusion and with with anaphylactic shock it's no different basically what anaphylactic shock is doing is it's uh it is basically an allergic reaction causing decreased resistance meaning that with that decreased resistance you know it's just there's no there's no volume there that that blood pressure's dropping there's no resistance to keep that blood pressure up and with with that blood pressure you know you need resistance that's what the blood pressure that's what it works on it's all about resistance and pressure and if there's a decreased resistance uh, then obviously you're just going to have low blood pressure which is going to equal low tissue perfusion same way with cardiogenic shock if you haven't seen that one go watch that video as well and guys, another way to look at it is think about how when somebody's losing blood, they're basically, when they're bleeding out, they're losing volume. So that's another way to think about shock because you can go into that type of shock as well, but any type of shock, just think of it as volume, resistance, and pressure. So a good example would be like your patient comes to the ER and that patient comes in with a bee sting and they're having a, uh, an allergic reaction. In that case, you would you would give them epinephrine, and that epinephrine will will turn that around, will stop that anaphylactic reaction. And basically, what that epinephrine does is it it instead of taking that it, you know how those blood pre, those blood vessels are are hyper dilated. Well, that epinephrine can can help with increase that pressure. So that's another way it helps get that volume and that low perfusion restored so guys and then remember it's basically the same thing you're going to have an increased respirations increased heart rate pale skin you know the same things that you were going to have decreased level of consciousness all the same things that go with any other type of shock so guys think about that from a nursing standpoint if you're doing an assessment and think use your critical thinking skills right now if you're doing an assessment and that patient has you know you what are you gonna be looking for you're gonna have the increased res respirations obviously but you know if if think about triage in a patient think about how you would triage this patient patient would you put him before would you put him a level two level three or level four I want you to get into that critical thinking um, you would also assess his cap refill, assess his skin, um, inside of his mouth, the gums. Uh, there's, there's so many things you can assess, but I need you to get into that mindset of the nursing considerations on this. Because we can go through the pathophysiology all day, but I want you to think about the different types of nursing considerations. Um, you know, the level of consciousness. If your patient is confused and they're, they're pale, their skin is uh, very clammy and very pale. Uh, they, you know, the um, they get uh, decreased cap refill time. All of that stuff is what you got to look at when you do an assessment with somebody in shock, along with the lab values with the H and H, um, the lactic acid on some of the other stuff like sepsis. But those are all things that you have to take into consideration as a nurse. And guys, all with that consideration, you know, so if you see that happening and you're triaging your patient and you're like, oh, they're, they got stung by a bee, they're at anaphylactic shock, they're, they're looking confused, they're looking pale, you know, we don't want to hesitate. We want to go ahead and give that epinephrine because that epinephrine is going to squeeze. It's a vasoconstrictor. It's going to squeeze that, those vessels and, and increase that pressure. Um, so guys, that's pretty much on, all shock is pretty much the same, but it's the type of shock that what, what matters. So in this case, it could be anaphylactic, it could be from shellfish, it can be from bees, whatever, any kind of type of allergic reaction. 
All right, guys, we'll keep rolling with this. Keep studying hard.